Well, scientists from the World Weather Attribution have uh, released a report today saying that human-induced climate change made recent extreme heat in the U.S. southwest, Mexico and Central America around 35 times more likely. In their new report, scientists said such a heat wave was now four times more likely than it was in the year 2000, driven by planet warming emissions. Let's speak to Roop Singh, head of urban and attribution at the Red Cross, Red Crescent Climate Centre. Her team helped develop the report. Thank you for coming on the programme. Absolutely. So just talk us through the headlines here. Yeah, so... Um the heat wave that we saw in Central and uh, Central America and North America um, is just evidence of the climate change that we're seeing around the world. Um, in our attribution study, we found that climate change made the the maximum ten temperatures 35 times more likely, and the nighttime temperatures up to 200 times more likely. And that's really significant because it's really the nighttime temperatures when your body is supposed to rest and recover that has impacts on human health. And that's what's actually causing a lot of these heat related deaths. And just remind us of the mechanism here. What is happening in what is heating what to lead to these temperatures? Yeah, so we know that um, climate change is caused by increasing greenhouse gases and essentially those greenhouse gases act to warm the planet around the world, but they're also act acting to sort of supercharge weather systems. So we're starting to see these heat domes and essentially heat stick around for an extended period of time um, in different parts of the world. We saw that in uh, Mexico and Central America, and we're also starting to see that now um, in the northern and eastern parts of the United States. So you said heat dome there. Just expand on that a little for us. What is it? Yeah, absolutely. So essentially, it's an area of high pressure. It's a place where you have um, not a lot of clouds, not a lot of rainfall, but essentially um, you just have high temperatures that stick around for for days and days. And essentially that the the duration of that heat causes a lot of impacts both on infrastructure but also on people. And people just aren't able to cope when it's hot during the day and at night continuously for, for days on end. So people are going to have to try and adapt now. Is it possible, before we get on to adaptations, is it possible to predict where and when this is going to happen? So we have heat wave early warning systems and we have um, typically lots of warning before a heat wave occurs. And so um, in most parts of the world, we are able to predict what the maximum temperatures are going to be days in advance. And therefore, um, it actually is a big opportunity for us to be able to use that information to reduce the impacts, to warn people in advance of the heat waves. OK, so if the warnings could be in place, what then? What can people actually do? What should governments actually do? So there's individual action. So essentially cooling yourself, making sure that you're drinking water, um, cooling your home. So passive cooling technologies, um, shading your homes, um, making sure you're planting trees outside or just closing the shades when it's really hot is what people can do. But then you also have organizations like the Red Cross where we're providing first aid for people who are affected by heat stroke, for example, helping people recognize the signs of heat related illnesses and take action before it's too late. And then, of course, um, cities and governments can work to together to develop heat action plans. And that means essentially knowing what they're going to do, what services are they going to provide when there is a heat wave? Are they going to open up a cooling center? Are they going to uh, distribute water, ensuring that people have adequate access to electricity, which they need in order to cool their homes um, during a heat wave? Roop Singh, thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to make sure you never miss a beat.